Hello and welcome to the Visionless Designs YouTube channel, the channel where you get to see all the things I can't. So today I figured I'd do a product review of my Milwaukee cordless drill. Here he is, the Milwaukee M18 FPD2 cordless drill. So I've been uh, after this thing for quite a while. Beforehand I've been using a DeWalt one but it just didn't uh, didn't do what I needed it to. It's uh, this one here. I'm sure you can see there's a bit of a difference, mainly in the uh, the butt area. This thing's a five amp power. This is one, and it makes quite a bit of difference, as we'll show now. Okay, so let's have a go over the features for this thing then. So obviously you've got the keyless chuck on this, uh, which is a handy feature to have. Uh, it is a hammer drill as well, so. Not all cordless drills come with this feature now. For example, my DeWalt doesn't. I don't personally use it because I have an STS drill, which does a far better job than any hammer drill can. You've got the clutch settings. So if you don't want to over tighten your screws, you can set it to whatever setting. I think there's 14 different settings on this to get whatever style you want. You've got the switch for low speed, high torque for your large bits and then the high speed, low torque for any small, fast drill bits. As we go down, you've got the forward and reverse button by the trigger. And down here, we've got a bit holder. As you can see, I don't use it. I find this to be a bit too flimsy and the bits fall out, so it's a bit pointless. On the opposite side here, we've got the belt clip. You may not think it's much of a feature, but trust me, it's a feature you definitely want. My other drills that I had don't have this feature. And uh, yeah, I, I very much miss it whenever I revert to them. So yeah, you want a belt clip. And of course, finally, we've got the five amp hour battery, which yeah, you, you just, you won't have to worry about your battery throughout the day. It has the, whoop, just press the button there, power LED button there. Obviously no use to me, but it's there. And also another thing I've been told, which I didn't even realize it had, is has a light on it. So for those that uh, need to see in the dark, handy for me, not really. Here's the drill with the handle attached now. As you can see, it's a pretty big handle. It's got a good grip on it. So whoop, here we go. So obviously you'll want to use this if you're uh, using any big bits. It'll help to prevent any uh, wrist snapping because if it snags, the drills do tend to twist. I personally don't use it. Um, when I'm using it, it tends to lose my sense of direction more. So I'm not quite as steady with this. So I tend to keep the drill in locked tight to myself if I'm doing any bits. You can take the handle off and flip it left or right. It doesn't swivel, which is something others may do. I know the corded drills usually do that and it doesn't come with a depth stop. So that's a bit of a downer, but it's again, something to think about. With the Milwaukee drill, you can also buy the case. Obviously you can get them with the case if you're not buying the Bears Bones unit. Clips off there, there we go. So in here, obviously you can fit the, the drill, the impact driver in this one and the battery charger. Also the handle for the drills there, we'll go over that later. A big thing with this is if you're going to get the drill and an impact driver, I found buying the drill case is the better option because the impact driver case doesn't come with an insert for a drill to go in, whereas the drill case does come with an insert for an impact driver. So something to think about. So the reason that anyone would want to go for this drill is obviously the power and the battery. So I figured I would do a demonstration with the two of them using the 65mm force bit into some rubbish chip wood I've got here. I'm not going to use it, so I have no problem putting holes in this. So let's see how long it takes each of them to do it. As you can see, the Milwaukee was a bit faster, but not really much, so much faster to warrant the extra cost. So let's go for something a bit more 
like this. So I've got a two inch thick Sitka spruce here. Let's see how it handles going through some real wood now. So, as you can see, I'm doing big things. It's definitely the drill for the job. A few problems I have had with this then. So, one of them, it's more of a me problem, but whenever I'm tightening the bits in and out, occasionally I knock it onto the hammer drill and I don't realize it. So I tend to leave it on the drill most of the time. So, yeah, it's just, it, it's very easy to accidentally knock that. Some of the previous drills I've had were a, a switch that you flicked on which uh, made it easier to know if it was on or off. The other problem, which we found with a few bits, is the, the actual chuck in it. Occasionally, it will loosen up. So the first time you use it, you'll get it really tight, you'll start using it, and then you need to stop and tighten it up again because it seems to loosen up just on that first use. So that's another problem we've had. The other one, which I found with the M18 batteries in general, is you'll start using it and then the power will just completely cut out and it won't work at all. It just seems to be the battery comes loose and the only way to do it is to basically clip it out, back in, and you get full power again. So that's again, something to consider when using these. Another point is these are quite heavy over long periods. Obviously, it's going to be heavy because it's got a lot more power in it, but if you're only doing little screws, then to be honest, the one amp batteries probably do you, if you're just doing like small screw jobs all day. This can be a bit overpowered for that. Um, it's just something to consider. But other than that, yeah, this has been a pretty, uh, pretty great drill. Wish I'd got it earlier, because, I mean, if you'd seen on my previous video of me trying to drill the posts with a 38mm bit, yeah, that, 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 that took forever. I, I really wish I'd had this for that. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out the website visionlessdesigns.com where you find all my products I sell to help support the channel, as well as links to my social media and Etsy store. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in future videos. Oh, hang on a second. No, I won't be able to see you, but you can see me.